Take a quick look at this Acadia 120 watt portable foddable <laughs> solar panel. So, you know, this one has a lot of the specs you're going to want to look for and some unusual stuff too. So that's kind of, you know, why I'm taking a look at this thing. And so this is a 120 watt panel and the open circuit voltage, 24.4 volts. Okay. So, you know, that should work with almost any power station out there. And they are claiming, you know, 25 years life. Now that's the cell. That's the solar cell itself. <laughs> you know, that's not the panel. So, you know, good luck getting 25 years out of this thing. And it is a four section design, right? So there's four panels that kind of fold up all together. And they're saying that this, you know, they actually designed this to make this thing as light and portable as possible. Only nine pounds, right? So that is, that is really light. And the size is about, you know, what you can expect. But the thing is to know with that, there's no like outer protective case or anything, right? I mean, it just kind of folds up together in itself. So that's the only thing you're going to kind of be careful with the edges around here, you know, when you, whenever you're storing it or transporting it. But still, you know, it does protect the solar cell. Let's just talk about the things that make this panel unique and appealing, really. Uh, number one is it's wired and parallel throughout. So this is just, you know, pretty good idea, right? Because if you get like a little bit of shade on even just a small area of the panel here, right? Guess what? You're going to break, you know, you're basically breaking the circuit within the entire panel. So what are you going to get out of a 120 panel, 120 watt panel with a little bit of shade like that? probably like five, five or 10 watts, right? So they're saying here, you know, basically, even if you shade a little bit of it here, you know, the power can still go through. So, you know, you're probably gonna get, they're saying 50% energy. So you could get, I mean, obviously you're not gonna get 120 watts out of a 120 watt panel. You're probably gonna get like 80, right? So 50% of that would be 40 watts, right? So even with some shade on it, you should be able to get 40 watts. And it is IP67, and they're saying you can actually submerge this thing in water. Like, you can actually submerge it underwater, <laughs> and it's not, not, not going to be a problem. Now, I don't know what the connector is like on this thing, because that would kind of be like, uh, you know, a vulnerable area. And this is just a really nice feature. They include the sundial. You know, it's just built into the side, you know, right in there. It's just built into the side of the solar panel and you just want to get the, the shadow from this little green dot that's on there, you know, within the circle there, right? For ideal sun exposure. So it just makes it real easy, you know. Now for the actual construction of this thing, they're saying they're using a semi-flexible PV cell. So, you know, I, I wouldn't recommend really kind of, you know, bending these things. But I guess, you know, if it happened a little bit, they're saying it's going to be fine, right? And now they're mentioning more 10 year usage. So that's, you know, more in line with what I would think of. They do mention that reliable overheat protection. They said they tested this thing up to uh, like 185 degrees, you know, for an extended period of time. So I guess, you know, whatever that film is, it, it's working. And then we do get this nice design, right? That the quick secure magnetic lock, you know, again, as I said, there's no case. There's like, you know, the case, it just folds up into itself, but it does stay put together with that magnetic lock. You know, so that was something Jack restarted doing and it's just, you know, it just makes it really easy basically to unfold it, fold it. And then, yes, we do get MC4 on this thing. So I think that's what we want to see here. You know, you can always get any kind of adapter MC4 to whatever your power station needs. And we do get the kickstands. So, you know, it's a four panel design, but there's only three kickstands, as you can see here. Now, I've kind of changed my mind on this. I think the reason these companies are doing this, I think is that, so basically there's a spot where you can put the power station, right? So that's actually just, you know, a great idea, you know, make sure you keep the power station out of the sun. And since we do get those MC4 connectors, you know, you can hook these up, you know, if you have a power station that take big solar, you can do series or parallel with MC4 easily, right? Now, if you do parallel, you are gonna have to get those adapters, right? Either a branch adapter or a Y adapter, but still, you know, you can, not, you can just keep hooking more and more up together so that's the appeal with MC4. And you know, you wanna put a big solar rate out, out in your backyard, you can do it. And by the way, this company is selling a little power station here, you know, so we'll talk about that in another video. It's kind of a unique looking power station. You know, I haven't looked at the specs at all. And this panel is actually being shipped and sold by Amazon. So Amazon's kind of like investing in this company. I, I never heard of this company, so I don't know, I mean, it must be a quality product for Amazon to, to sell it themselves. And they are selling two versions. So, you know, there's a black one and then there's one that's, it doesn't say, you know, it, 
it looks more like a green to me, like almost like a, a muted army green. So I don't know. All the pictures are the same. So I don't know. You guys take your take your chance with that. So yeah, it's a quick overview of this panel. You know, obviously the, the biggest feature to me is the, the parallel wiring, right? The, the shade performance. So, you know, it's just always nice to set these panels out. Maybe you get, you know, a little bit of shade throughout the day as the sun moves through the sky and you just don't want to deal with, you know, moving it or whatever. Or sometimes, you know, there's just an area where you can't not get some shade, right? I mean, this is, this happens to me all the time. It's like ridiculous, you know, you lose all your solar power. So this is appealing. Hopefully you just kind of found this overview helpful, interesting. And yeah, thanks for watching.